Welcome to the busy world of Richard Scarry on home video. Play it safe. Lonely, come on! I have to get groceries at the market before it closes. Stop! Stop! Look and listen. Never run onto the street, not even to chase a ball. Never cross between parked cars, cause drivers won't see you at all. Always cross at the corner, remember to look both ways. Stop, look and listen, is a rule that always pays. And just stop, look and listen, yeah. Pay attention at a light, don't ever cross on red. But when it's green and walk appears, look and go ahead. And just stop, look and listen. Better late than never. Lots of busy world of Richard Scary videos are available. Whoa, we're exploring a busy world. Let's go! Look for the best birthday present ever. Oh, thank you, Hopper. What can this be? It's a wonderful present. You mean you like it? Mm. Sergeant Murphy's day off. It looks like there's some kind of a... Daddy, you're the best father and policeman ever. The busiest firefighters ever. No, wait. Cut the water. I said cut the water. Excuse me. My goodness. Good acceleration. And Mr. Frumble's new cars. And coming soon. We're all floating. There's no gravity. A trip to the moon. Ready, Lily? Let's see if we can find something to fix the steering wheel. Wow! Up here, flat tires don't matter. This no gravity is great. Roads may be completely And the forward. snowstorm. Shouldn't we go faster, Spotty Leopard? Nope. We have to take it slow. Slow and steady. Oh, hang on, kids! Hooray for Hilda! Kids love the adventures of Huckle, Loli, and all their busy town friends. up your copies of the busy world of Richard Scarry wherever videos are sold. The busy world of Richard Scarry. From under the ocean, over the clouds, and around the world, here comes the wild side of wildlife. The Animal Show starring Stinky and Jake on home video. And now, let's have a wild welcome for... Your furry friends, Stinky and Jay! Now it's the animal show! Hello, all you little animals out there. I am Stinky. And I am Jay. Right your hosts, okay. Stinky the Skunk and Jake the Polar Bear, will teach you Two, all three. about your favorite animals. Oh, who is that fell away up in the tree? Oh boy, he looks like a gibbon to me. The Arbor Gorilla, and he looks like me. Cause we're all members of what family. You'll see where they live, what they do, what they like to eat, plus lots more. Look for Zebra and Lion and Gorilla and Rhino and more Animal Show videos coming soon. You'll love Stinky and Jake and all of their Animal Show friends. Pick up your copies of The Animal Show wherever videos are sold.
The busy world of Richard Scary. Hello, Huckle and Lowly. What brings you to here? We'd like to join the fire department, sir. Firefighting's a tough job, Huckle. Are you sure you're up to it? We just want to help out, Chief. Please, sir. Well, I suppose one day won't hurt, but you'll have to have the right equipment. Squirty, Smokey. Right, right away, away, Chief. Regulation firefighting boots. And here are your helmets, boys. Thanks, Nozzle. Now you're ready for the job. Did you hear that, Lily? We get to be firefighters! Busy Town Fire Department, Chief speaking. Our first call, Lily! Quick, Yes, Hilda, immediately. We're on our way. Let's roll! <laughs> This way, I lost my skating medal in the sewer. Gently, please be careful. No, no, more to the right. Don't worry, Hilda. We handle cases like this all the time. Hmm. Hmm. I'll just die. <laughs> Don't worry, Hilda. I'll get it. Geronimo! <laughs> Look, Hilda, Lowly rescued your medal. Oh, you brave firefighter saved my roller skating silver medal. All in a day's work, Hilda. Oh, thank you, Lowly. This is great. Who can we help next? Let's go, firefighters. It's a busy day. Move out. Come on, Lowly. On to the next call. Stay calm, Dennis. We'll get you down. Please don't ask me to move. I'm really scared. Relax, Dennis. You'll be down soon. I can't come down, Squirty. I'm stuck. Tell my parents this is my room now. Wow! This is even better than rescuing Hilda's roller skating medal. And less painful. Dennis, the branches up here are not very sturdy. You can come down. Don't be scared. Well, okay. I think I can. I think I can. Maybe I can. Whoa! Wow! <coughs> wow, our second rescue. But do you think we'll ever get to put out a fire? All in good time, Huckle. Oh, oh my. I wonder who parked my car right under that branch. Oh, well. <gasps> oh, oh. Oh. Oh, my. I guess I'll need some help with that branch. Morning, Mr. Frumble. Need some help? I guess I'd better find a safer place to park my car. Oh, oh dear. Oh, my. Oh, no. Sorry about your car, Mr. Frumble. Thank you. I'll just walk home. Oh, no. Smoke! It's a huge fire. Fire? Where's the alarm? Come on, Lily. It could be a fire. I'm 
too tired to move. No one said the life of a firefighter was easy. Let's roll! This is a real fire. We better stay out of the way. That's the best idea you've had all day. Ready for the water, Smokey? <gasps> no, wait. Cut the water. I said, cut the water. Uh-oh. Excuse me, but aren't barbecues allowed in busy town? We're sorry, but we were called to put out a fire. That was out of control. We didn't know it was your barbecue. I wonder who could have thought this was an out of control fire. Thanks for having the special barbecue for us, Chief. It's the least we could do after ruining your supper. Wasn't this a great day, Loli? Huh? Come on, Loli. A firefighter's job is never done. Imagine that. I can't get rid of the dirt specks on this piece of paper. Those aren't dirt specks. They're wood specks. Well, paper is made from wood, and wood it comes from trees. So the trees have to be harvested. Timber means step back, please. The trees are brought to the paper mill by water or on truck. And then they're cut into smaller logs. How do they do it? A great big sun. They take off the bark and grind them into mulch, and the mulch is called wood pulp. Then the pulp is washed and beaten in the paste, and the clean white paste is all shook now it sticks together in the sheet, then it's rolled and squashed and dried, then it's rolled and dried and squash more into big rolls of paper, cut to any size, like drawn paper or newspaper, or the kind of paper you find in a book or a magazine. Whoops, then I need another piece of paper, uh, I mean wood. <laughs> Mexico, land of beautiful music, colorful flowers, great big hats, and playful little boys with big imaginations. This is Manuel. Sometimes he pretends his friend Pedro is a spy. Sometimes Manuel imagines his mother's vegetable garden is a jungle. And sometimes, he even pretends his mother is a pirate. What am I going to do with such a boy? But the pot looks like a treasure chest, doesn't it? Manuel, you have such an imagination. But sometimes a pot is just a pot. And now ours is broken. Please, go to the marketplace and buy a new one. Oh, boy! I love the marketplace. Come, Pedro. This would be a great adventure. Remember, Manuel, it is a marketplace, not a pirate ship. My mother was right. It is not a pirate ship. It is a den of thieves. Come now, Manuel. He didn't steal a thing. See, si, but he would have if I hadn't have been watching him. Oh, good morning, Manuel. Pedro? Buenos dias, Senor Tiger. We are on the trail of a thief. And do not forget, we are also on the trail of a pot for your mother. Ah, I have just the pot. 
Look! What did I tell you? That man is a thief! He does not look much like a thief. That's because he is a clever thief. Oh, of course, Manuel. I will keep a sharp eye on your villain. Come, Pedro. We must track him down. Manuel! Why are you following footprints when the fox is right over there? Because a real detective follows clues that lead him to the villain. Well, Detective Work has made me hungry. Can we get a bite to eat? Yes, we can pretend to eat, but we will be really watching the thief. Manuel! The bug! I got it! I got it! Yeah. Thank you, Pedro. It is difficult to watch a thief and guard the pod at the same time. Manuel, why are you hiding behind a menu? Shh! I am not hiding. I am spying. Let us order a tamale. Stop! Thief! <laughs> stole a tortilla from you. Manuel, you are the one who has caused me trouble with my tortillas. I am sorry, Senor Lynx. I was only trying to help you. It is all right, Manuel. You boys run along. Be careful with that pot. You cannot catch thieves on an empty stomach. Thank you. Wow. Mm. Hurry before it gets away. before he sees us! Look! He stole a hat! Did you see? No, I can't see. I am having hat trouble of my own. He is coming this way! Whoa! What is going on? Ah, Manuel, what are you today? A soldier? A famous explorer? Those are pretend things. Now I am a real detective. Luckily, shoes do not break like pots. You must be more careful with this. Thanks, Mr. Armadillo. Come on, Pedro. Could we not go home now, Manuel? I know we are going to break the pot. No, we haven't caught our thief yet. Can you see what he is doing, Pedro? <laughs> He's looking at a fishing rod. He's stealing it! We must capture this thief before he gets away. I think we should go home before this pot breaks. Manuel, please. I just know a great disaster is going to happen to that pot. Pedro, what could possibly happen to the pot? Ah! My mother's pot! Huh? What's going on? Manuel, what have you done now? Who is this? Pedro and I have got the greatest thief in all Mexico! Manuel, you really are a great detective. Yes, and you are a real thief. Bravo, Manuel. I do not think your mother will say bravo. Do not worry. I have a reward for the best detective in Mexico. Manuel, what a big pot. It is a reward. I caught the greatest thief in all. Mexico! Oh, Manuel, not more stories. Oh no! The pot! <clears throat> Play it safe! Come on! Dad's gonna show us how to make breakfast in the kitchen! Whoa! It can be dangerous in there! Let me tell you the story of a chef raving treats When he goes in the kitchen, he knows what to do 
kitchen has dangers if that's where you're bound. If you're smart like our hero, you'll be safe and sound. He's careful near the oven and places too hot. And he'll always use a glove to touch the handle of a pot. Now fork spoons and dishes are okay to touch. But he asks for help with sharp knives and such. If you need something high, he won't climb on a chair. He'll call someone taller to reach things up there. Our chef brave and true cooks with somebody grown. Cause the kitchen's much safer when he's not alone. Morning, Hacko. We made everyone breakfast. With a little help from our friend. We wanted fish for breakfast, and now it's lunch time. Lunch? Uh, where's lunch? Don't feel bad. We're not having any luck either. We're having luck, Huckle. It's just all bad. I'm not giving up, boys. Lunch is somewhere out there. <laughs> we just have to reel it in. Huh? Uh, good morning. Hello down there. Wow. Let's go see where he lands. We're not catching anything here anyway. Well, maybe we can catch a ride in the balloon. Your balloon's sure a lot bigger than the ones we get at the fair, Mr. Von Flugel. Would you boys like to take a look inside? Could we? That would be great. Thanks, Mr. Von Flugel. You boys should see the view from up there. Uh, no thanks. I'm an earthworm. I'm afraid of heights. What's that, Mr. Von Flugel? What is that? That's the ripcord. When you pull it, the gas in the balloon goes out. And the balloon goes down. If you want the balloon to go up, you untie a sandbag and drop it. Then the basket is lighter. Could we go up with you, Mr. Von Flugel? Sure, why not? Everything's ready. Ah, everything that is, except for the picnic. That's why I came back here. Just wait here while I get the picnic basket. of meat. Oh no, when I got out of the basket I forgot to tie down the anchor. I've got to help them. Hi, hi. Nothing like a shiny clean motorcycle to kick off the day. Hi, Sergeant Murphy! <laughs> Look at that, Huckle and Lowly floating by in a balloon. Huckle and Lowly in a balloon! <gasps> Don't worry, I'll save them! Hurry, Sergeant Murphy! Uh-oh! We lost a sandbag! That's okay. We still have lots more of those. Nothing to worry about. If this keeps up, we'll never get down. Mom! Dad! Look at us! Oh, look. Isn't that nice? Rudolph's taking Huckle and Lowly ballooning. Hi, Rudolph. It's nice of you to take the boys. But... But if you were down here, then who's up there? Isn't there any way to get the boys down? Yeah, the ripcord. They must pull the ripcord. Don't worry. I'll get them down. Come with me. The ripcord. Pull the ripcord. Don't lean over. Be careful. Look, they're waving to us. I think they want us to come down. Huckle, that'll do it. That's what I call a ripcord. Isn't Busy Bee beautiful? And isn't it big? Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? Get this thing back up! Uh, I thought we wanted it to go down. Yes, 
loose, but not in the middle of Dizzy Bay. I'll untie a sandbag. That'll take us back up. Be careful, Lily. If I were careful, we wouldn't be up here in the first place. Oh, Lily, uh, are you putting on weight? No, I don't think... Ah! Lily! Oh. What do I look like? Dinner? Catch a fish if it landed in our laps. Betty! Wolfgang! Catch something? No! It caught me! Help! Help! Yeah. Help! Help us! Are you okay, Lily? A little bent. But nothing I can't straighten out. Huckle, lowly. Are you boys all right? All right. We're great. Great? Why, you boys are the best balloonists ever. And you three are the best fishermen ever. Not really. Just the wettest. And the hungriest ever. <laughs> Not anymore. Wow. 